It gives me great pleasure to introduce the Federal Member for McKellar, the Minister for Aged Care, our renowned local Federal Cabinet Minister who has really taken this fight to heart and will fight it all the way to the end. Would you please put your hands together for Bromwyn Bishop. What we are seeing with Mona Vale Hospital is death by a thousand cuts. We are seeing its resources withdrawn. We're seeing people say, well, the money hasn't really been supplied, so we're not supplying that service now, and it becomes a self-fulfilling aim. You can say, and say clearly, that the site on which Mona Vale is built is a fabulous site which would bring big dollars. And where would those dollars go? Into the community? Never. Into the coffers of the state parliament, the state government. What we want is a hospital that is properly resourced. Now, I bothered to do a bit of research that I could with my own department. I looked at the funding for ACATS teams, aged care assessment teams, which are very important in our area because we're above the average of people over the age of 65. We have more than most. And I supply a budget to have ACATS teams all over New South Wales and indeed the rest of Australia to carry out those important assessments. So I asked, where is the Commonwealth money going in this region? And this region contains Manly, Mona Vale, Hornsby, Ryde and North Shore. And because we've had an audit and because the state government is supposed to match that funds, I was able to find that the amount of state money to fund those ACAT teams at Mossman, I beg your pardon, at Manly and at Mona Vale is nil. All the funding that goes to those two hospitals for that important function comes from me. All the resources from the state government goes to North Shore Hospital. Harry Thomas has given us great leadership. Our Mayor, Patricia Giles, has given us great leadership. Those of us who are joining on the platform here today do so because all of us believe passionately in this cause. So let's ensure that this is only be the beginning. The road we have to walk together means that we care that those people who live among us, whose lives are going to be determined as to whether or not that hospital at Mona Vale continues to exist, is a fight worth fighting for. Let's go for it. My passion for our wonderful area and the people who reside in it remains unchanged. If we go to the question of the, of the hospital, I personally raised $250,000 towards keeping that hospital and to see that it will no longer have the ability to do proper emergency work uh, because it will lose its ICU to me is shameful.